The days of using inner tubes could finally be over. There is some exciting technology on the horizon that is successful and brought over to the cycling world and made accessible in terms of pricing could eliminate these and banish them to the history books once and for all. And no, I'm not talking about tubeless. And frankly, it's about time. Because as good as bicycles are today, and as much as they have transformed from when bicycles were first invented, aerodynamics, disc brakes, carbon frames, deep section wheels, many of us still rely on the humble inner tube. The real weakness, the real chink in the armor of a modern bicycle. And while tubeless is good, it's not perfect. But the technology on the horizon could be the breakthrough we've all been waiting for and finally mean we don't need these anymore. So get rid of that and let's dive in. First up, we have a bizarre and strange looking tire from Michelin that looks straight out of a sci-fi movie. Called Unique Puncture Proof Tire System, or UTIS for short, the technology uses short spokes made from composite rubber and high strength resin embedded fiberglass with a thin tread over the top. Apparently, this design maintains the right tire pressure at all times, which the company claims offers performance, fuel economy, and wear benefits over regular tires. But it's not clear if the tire pressure can be changed or adjusted to suit your requirements and the conditions you're driving in. Now, it's fair to say this technology is a long way from finding its way onto your bicycle, but hopefully providing proof is more than a concept the company will be equipping 50 DHL delivery vehicles in Singapore this year with the new tyres. So eyes will definitely be on the tyre technology and hopefully if it's successful in the car world, it will make its way onto a bicycle world. If those tyres from Michelin don't catch on, there's always another option and these come straight from NASA, as sci-fi as it gets. Yes, that's right, a tyre first developed for the Mars rover could find its way onto a bicycle of the future. The smart tyre company in the US had developed a potentially indestructible tyre with the aim to actually make it into production this year with a price of around $150, which yes, expensive for a tyre, but not bad considering the crazy technology involved in this development. And yes, I'll be doing my best to get my hands on a set for testing here at Just Ride Bikes in the future. And that is a good reminder to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by hitting that button down below. The technology is, and I'm quoting here, a pneumatic compliant tire utilizing shape memory alloys that deform and spring back to its original shape. This means the tire should have the elastic properties of rubber, but be as strong as titanium. Unlike in the photos, the final product will have a special rubber material for a long lasting tread pattern over the top of this special alloy. And also to keep crap out of the design and to give a more acceptable appearance. What does appear to be lacking from the tyre so far is any way to adjust the effective tyre pressure. And apparently they set the tyre pressure at 100 psi, which is way too high. So hopefully some way of tuning the tyre pressure can be added to the tyre technology before it rolls out to production. There are other question marks around the weight, rolling resistance compared to current tyres, and also compatibility with rims and how easy or not they are to fit to your wheels or whether you need new wheels to use these special tires. But probably a step closer to being on your bicycle in the future than those Michelin tires. Now, if you haven't got time or patience to wait for the breakthrough technology, there is another option, a homemade solution I found on YouTube while researching this story. A guy in America has made his own airless tires for his fat bike and they look very similar so Michelin tires, don't they? Now, I don't have the necessary skills or a fat bike even to make anything like this, but I'd definitely love to give it a go. But if any of you have the skills, tools, and time required to make something like this, then get in touch, we'll leave a comment down below, and maybe we can make something happen here on Just Ride Bikes in the future. So, some exciting developments for sure. You can finally banish the inner tube to the history books, or are these destined to be a feature in a future tech fails? Time will tell on that one. And if you want to see some of the bigger tech fails in the cycling world, then watch the video right here. And don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button right here. But that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all again very soon.